Once upon a time, deep in the forest of the land of Kembo, here lived with his family and just a stone throw away from him on a cluster of boulders who was his neighbor, baboon. Here gathered food, nuts, vegetables to feed his family. Baboon watched came down and ate all his food. This went on for days, which grew into weeks. He and his family were getting thinner and thinner, whilst Baboon was getting fatter and fatter. He got fed up. He planned a plan, schemed a scheme. He went into the forest gathered a lot of firewood, came back to his home. He lit a fire, and on this fire, he placed a massive pot filled with water. <laughs> Meanwhile, Baboon washed, came down to find out what was going on. <gasps> Said, hey, Sekuru Baboon say, I'm only warming up the water so that I take a bath before I save you your food, say, Sekuru Baboon. You want to bath before me? Move out of the way! And so, Baboon got into the pot. This water is cold. Sekuru Baboon, I will have to put the lid on so that the water warms quicker. Hurry up then, hurry up! And so, he took the lid, put it on top of this pot and locked it and added more firewood. Soon, the warm water became hot and inside that pot, Muzukuru he! This water is getting hot. Baboon started banging on the side of the pot and on the lid, trying to get out. He continued to add more firewood. Musoguri, he, this water is getting hot. Get me out, get me out. Still, he continued to add more firewood. Soon, the hot water became hotter and hotter and get me out. Still, he did nothing but continued to add more firewood. The banging and cries inside that pot got louder and louder and then became feebler and feebler until the only sound he could hear was the bubbling of boiling water inside that pot. Still, he added a few more logs, just to make sure. Then finally, he unlocked the lid, opened it, and curled inside was baboon, cooked to the bone. Ah, 
Gudura Kabikwa and my friends. That's where my story ends. Thank you.